in my country, many people say I'm a Christian. <laughs> it is the way that some people get voted into office. It is the reason some people don't want to vote for certain people. And uh, we talk a lot about, you know, faith and being a Christian. I wish more people would use the term Christ follower. Because Jesus didn't say, pray a prayer, welcome, you know, to him. <laughs> he said, come follow me. He said, if anyone would come after me, meaning Jesus, not me, not a pastor or a Christian leader or, or even a particular church. <clears throat> Jesus said, if anyone would, would come after me, he or she must deny self, say no to what I call the unholy trinity. That's me, myself, and I. <laughs> And the problem in my country is we talk about love, but when it comes to loving, yeah, you know, it, it, it only goes so far. It's just... <laughs> and I'll tell you what real love looks like. It looks like that. He said, if anyone would come after me, they must deny themselves, pick up their cross, daily and follow me. Now, we don't say that much in my country. We like to talk about the mercy and the love of God for ourselves. In my country, it is the African American, more and more the, <clears throat> the immigrants, especially from Mexico, in Central America. Here, it's still at times the Turkish people. In much of Europe, it is the, the, the gypsies, the Roma. And the English look down at the Irish. In Australia, it's the Aboriginal. In New Zealand, it's the Maori person. Somebody is always looking down their nose at someone else. You still fight the same battles north and south in Germany, in Deutschland, you know? <laughs> I have a hard time talking about it, you know? My second favorite sport in the world is American football. My first happens to be foosball, you know, the real football, for many, many years. True. Okay, I'll tell you, Bayern. <laughs> Chicago Fire, but uh, my team is not doing so good right now. Yeah, but I, yeah. See, there's always a reason to be angry, <laughs> to separate. So anyway, the older I get, <clears throat> especially in my own country, uh, in English we say I take off the gloves. I'm like, enough, 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 enough. You talk about love, but when it comes to loving your neighbor, you look at the color of their skin, you look at what's in their wallet, how much money, you judge them if they don't go to the same church you go to. Maybe they're even a Christian, but they're not your kind of Christian. And in my country, we talk about loving our neighbor as ourself, yeah? The second most important commandment of Jesus, you shall, well, first is hear. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, the Lord your God is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second most important commandment, not option, 
commandment, Jesus says, is just like it. Just like the first, which is very, that's a whole other message. And I won't give it to you tonight. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But my neighbor messes up my property value. So now, as a Christian in America, you can say, well, if you really love this person, you don't do a thing to help them. And if they move next door to you and it wrecks your investment in your land and your house and your bawa, you know, whatever. And now we say, well, I would love my neighbor, except my neighbor trashes my property value. So really what you're saying is you love money or you love what you think is security in possession, in the, in the, the material things, you know, your, your land, your house, whatever, your car. So now you effectively, you're, what you're saying is, I, I don't really have to love my neighbor because, you know, my neighbor messes me up here. I can't be a good steward of the gifts of God because my neighbor brings the value down. And I say you are a hypocrite and a liar and fake. You're, a, you're false. This is garbage. It's rubbish. Too many people in my country talk and do not do. You remember Yoda, right? Do! Eventually, you might want to think about following. Even when the popular idea is to close your ears and look only at your own personal gain and treat other people much less than Jesus would ever have you treat them. Jesus says the way you treat the least of these, yeah, that's how you treat me. You think of that person that you love the least. You don't love Jesus any more than that. That's Bible. You don't have to like it. It's very hot. My country is long on talk about love. It's even Christian people. But man, when it comes time to paying the price, too many of us are not willing to take take the cross and take the pain because my neighbor is more important than the house I live in or the car I drive or whether people in my neighborhood think I'm, I'm cool. Amen?
Jesus. That's how you.